Okay guys, got the 2500 HD in the shop. Gonna be doing a modification that I get a lot of questions about. I've done this to the dually. And I get a lot of questions on uh, what light I used and how I did it and stuff like that. So figured I'd do the mod on this and uh, show you exactly how I do it. I'm starting out with a I guess this is an LED uh, light strip. This one is from the guys over at uh, Parts AM. I'll have a link in the description guys where you can get one. This is a LED... I guess you can use this for just about anything. It, it has um, a tail light feature or a parking light feature and a brake light feature. So you could, you could use this for uh, like trailers, for the brake lights, and even a third brake light if you wanted to do that. It's got, uh, I mean you can see it's red here, uh, it's got a row of LEDs there. It is DOT stamped. So I believe this can be used as a brake light on a trailer, legally, on the road. Uh, you can see the back here, there's the circuit board, it's in like a silicone, I can, it's like a silicone, and then you've got the wires coming out of it, a white is ground, uh, brown is like, you know, the parking light, it's the low brightness, and then you've got the green wire, which is like a brake light or a turn signal, so it's uh, a brighter light than the brown. Uh, I'm going to be using the brown tail light feature on the truck because I'm not going to do the third brake light. I'm just using this as a uh, parking light. Um, not sure if I mentioned, but it's a 17 inch. I'm going to uh, start fitting this one on there. Uh, the truck actually has a cruddy light bar on it now. It's got uh, one of those three deals, like a trailer uh, light. So we're gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna put this nice one in place of that. And then we'll have a roll all the way across of LED lights. Okay, so you can see I've got the old light out. And uh, the guy before me tapped into the tail lights to get uh, parking light power. Um, also, there's a ground wire here that's uh, also going into the tail lights. Um, you're gonna need you're gonna need a ground, and you're gonna need a parking light wire to hook this light up. So I'm not gonna have to do any wiring, but uh, I usually pull my power from the license plate lights, but uh, you can go to the tail light if you want to, whatever. You just need uh, power and a ground. Um, installing the light, uh, it's installed with screws on each end. And it is a flush mount light, but for to flush mount it, you're going to need a hole in the center here to run the wires. Now I don't have a hole and I don't really want to do any cutting and notching here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to space the light out with a few washers, a few small washers to give me just enough room for these wires to come out the bottom like that. And it uh, should be fine. It's all sealed. Like I said, this circuit board sealed in uh, some sort of a silicone or something. So I'm not really worried about uh, Get anything behind it because it's all sealed up. Um, looks like a, a a pretty quality light, so not worried about that. Just uh, don't want to uh, pinch my wires. So I'm going to get that installed. We're going to hook these wires up, and uh, I'll show you what I got. Okay, guys, so you can see there it is installed. Before I put the tailgate on. 
I actually went um, right inside the groove there. The bottom of that groove is where the screw holes went in. Um, you do have to watch out to where you put your light when the tailgate comes down that it doesn't hit uh, your light. If you're up too high, I think sometimes it, the, the tailgate can hit the light. So you gotta be careful of that. I know it looks crooked, guys, but it, it's not. This bumper's all bent up out of shape. Uh, gonna need a new bumper on this truck, so I'm not worried about that. So there you go, guys. That's how it's done. It looks quite a bit brighter on the video there than it actually is. But it's definitely better than uh, the other one. I like it. So that's going to do it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one.